Hello, and welcome to The Bracelet of Melody, a Thief Girl Fan Mission by Cardia. Let's begin. Pedro Quintela presents The Bracelet of Melody. Fan mission for Thief Gold. The information I have acquired is true, and I can confirm that Lord Bafford Saliday Mansion is in Bruxelles, a city famous for its high quality beers. When I arrived in this city, it was not difficult to identify Bafford's house as it was built in the same architectural style as its main manor. While getting inside was easy, this time I was not careful enough and I got cocked and overpowered by Bafford's guards. They took me to the jail and I was only waiting to be hanged for my burglary and attempted theft of Lord Bafford's goods. Luckily, a local princess called Melanie got informed of my imprisonment and my background history. Somehow she found a way to set me free. In return, however, I am supposed to help her in her personal mission. I have no other choice but to help Melanie in her mysterious quest, because I feel in debt towards her, and she also has my weapons and belongings. I was informed that I must now head to the Cut Emerald Hill, where a person called François Damien will provide me with further details about my mission. A smooth breeze is blowing and the stars are up in the clear sky. It's time to begin. Well, I have no other choice to help her because she has all my, all my gear. All right, get your weapons gear back. Help Princess Melody find the bracelet of Melody and discover who killed her beloved prince. Okay, so that's what the mission is. You came to Bruxelles hoping to steal something precious in Buffett's holiday house. Return there and see what you can find. And don't get caught this time. I'm implicit. Collect as many bottles of beer as possible. 12 bottles should be enough? I mean, come on, 99 bottles of beer, surely. Rumour has it that the famous intruder painting by Henri Julien de Winder was stolen from the local art gallery. Try to find this valuable work of art. Optional. Bajolis is a very wealthy city, you should be able to find get at least 10,000 loot. Okay. You have to expert 17,000? Find a special 3 months into a beer bottle or something like that, simply to worth a fortune. I didn't realise they used the uh, SI units way back in Garrett times. Alright, well, let's. We don't have any uh, no-kill objectives listed, but I'm going to go on hard, as usual. <clears throat> Seems to be the good good middle ground for uh, Let's Plays. So, have I just been released? Are the guard's going to be... La gaffe que j'ai faite. Bruno m'avait demandé de ne pas mentionner son voyage en Espagne devant Laura et ça m'a échappé. J'ai tenté de me rattraper comme je pouvais, mais je me suis enfoncé encore plus. J'en suis malade pour Bruno. À cause de moi, il risque d'être dans de beaux draps. Je te comprends. À moi aussi, il m'est arrivé en toute bonne foi de commettre un impair. Je m'en suis souvent sorti par une pirouette, mais. Il n'est pas toujours facile de rattraper le coup. Le problème, c'est que je suis la spécialiste des faux pas. Depuis mon enfance, je suis à la fois gaffeuse et maladroite. Tiens, l'autre jour, par mes gardes, j'ai renversé un plat sur la jupe blanche de Tati. Oh je ne savais plus où me mettre. Qu'est-ce que je pourrais faire pour éviter ce genre de bêtises Au moins, tu ne fais pas l'autruche. Tu regardes les problèmes en face. D'autres font des âneries et ne veulent pas le reconnaître. Moi, mon principal problème quand je suis fatigué, ce sont les lapsus. L'autre soir, par exemple, j'ai salué Monsieur Blanchet par un sonore « Bonjour, madame <rire> !» Tiens, tiens, c'est révélateur. 
con si vous saviez la gaffe que j'ai faite. Bruno m'avait demandé de right, pas mentionner now. son voyage en Espagne devant Laura et ça m'a échappé. I don't understand a word of that, but yeah. Alright, well we have some equipment along the way. So is he going to alert? Is the question. J'ai cru voir quelque chose. Why are they all speaking French? Plus rien maintenant. <coughs> is okay. I thought this was supposed to be. Well, the briefing was in video was in English. I'm confused about my guards and stuff all in French. But okay, fair enough. I guess that's that's what they speak in this town. So what I didn't see was whether he actually. I mean, he did see something. He did alert to me, right? Uh, 90. Well, you know, it's not a bad start when we're gonna get, what, 14,000? 14,000. Uh, we're gonna have to loot every fountain we can find. Okay, what's our diary say? Uh, information ever questioned to be true. I can confirm that Lord Baffert's holiday home is in Brujas. When I arrived in the city, it was not difficult to identify Baffert's house, as it was built in the same architectural style as his main manor. Yes, yes. Uh, the sheer desire of finding something valuable will be cloud of my vigilance and brought doom upon me. When I realized, Garrett, you don't have to be quite so uh, melodramatic in your diary. When I realized I'd been surrounded by several guards, in desperation I tried to use a flash bomb. The mechanism was apparently broken so they did not activate. However, and in the blink of an eye, I was overpowered by the guards. One of Baffert's underlings recognized me and ordered the other guards to take me to the city watch station. I was to be punished for my burglary attempted theft of Lord Baffert's goods. I spent two days in one of these musty cells at the police station. On the third day, when night came, the police chief came for me. I overheard him telling the crews he was going to take me back to my country because I must be judged there. In reality, however, he took me to his own place, right next to Baffert's house. The police chief told me that Princess Melanie paid well for my freedom. She needs my services in return. I was informed that I must now head to the Cut Emerald Inn, as we know. I waited for at least an hour at the cop's house and told that now I can head for the lodging, which is located in the main square next to the castle. I was warned to avoid the city guards who were supposedly on the lookout for me. Okay, so that answers my other question. Right now my desire is to free Pujolas, but without the rest of my equipment, I only have my bag and this diary, it is impossible. Moreover, I feel indebted to that Princess Melanie. <coughs> Alright, do we have a map? We do not. Alright. Oh, is that a door I can open? No, it's... Got a handle and all, but not, not openable. Oh, well, that's Baffert's, right? North side of the square. So we need to find this tavern. And we also mentioned a lodging in the main square next to the castle. I presume that's where we go last. Right, I'm going to uh, turn this ambience down because that's. Uh, and a little more. It's. It's a little overwrought for my liking. That's an excellent start, Garrett. Perhaps we should go to the south side of the square instead. Oh, he saw me again. Yeah. Et 
I didn't think you would see me over the wall. Well, we are doing very well. Oh, oui, oui, oui. You know what? Oh, I don't know my... Gonna say... I was gonna say, you know what? I'll just knock him out. This is... Not going well. That looks like a tavern. I think this place is big. I'm still being chased. He's gonna find me again. I feel certain of it. No, maybe not. Might be in luck. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Why well, is this with the ambient turned down? Put that back to the middle. Oh no, okay, that music is just not responding to the ambient volume. That's unfortunate. Because that's really loud. Just, uh, just really trying to overpower all game audio, okay. Right, the old fox is not where we need to be. Here I am trying to zoom in, but it's not Thief 2, so I'm cycling through my inventory instead. I'm feeling this might be the new tavern I need to. Get to? I'm not sure. What, what's the name of it? The cut? The cut? It doesn't even tell us there. The cut emerald. Hmm. Let me try to zoom in on the sign again. Zoom doesn't work. Alright. Does that look like a cut emerald to you? Turn around, but now he's looking. Well, now he's turned around. Okay. The cut emerald. All right, here we are. Let's hope that in here we will be. Well, for second guards, of course, they can see through the windows, I'm sure, so... Ah, oh, there's the three months we need. Here from planets. Where are we supposed to meet this fellow? Quand je vois tout ce que j'ai à faire, j'ai un bateau, pleurant. Un côté un peu, les premiers sont les derniers. Oui. Non, we can't go into that. Envieux. Quand je vois tout ce que j'ai à faire d'ici la fin du mois, je ne sais pas comment je vais y arriver. 
Bathroom. Is it a guest or is it a guard? Looks like our friend. Who are we supposed to be meeting? Swan Demio. It does not look like a Swan Demio, but. It's just a kid wandering the halls. I'm not to disturb them. Alright, well, they don't seem to be out of contact. I think. Be a little strange. Oh, I had not noticed that. Try not to make so much noise, Garrett. Well, they didn't seem to get spooked by it, so I guess that's okay. Well, we've done, you know, we're supposed to come here to meet someone. We've done the important thing. We've stolen stolen some valuable candlesticks. They're worth 50 gold each. Shame to just leave them here for random other guests to steal. Wouldn't you say? Unfortunately, I think that means our contacts in the front room, so we're going to have to try and hear what they say over the, all this stuff. When I see what I have to do at the end of the month, I don't know how I'm going to arrive. I don't know where to take my head. In love, I ask the impossible. Not yet, Florent. Un côté un peu, les premiers sont les derniers. Oui. Un peu, euh... You have no. How are we supposed to find our contacts? Légèrement pacto, pleurant. Un côté un peu, les premiers sont les derniers. Oui. Je ne sais plus où donner de la tête. En un mot, on me demande l'impossible. Il ne faut pas te mettre Martel en tête. Pour. Hello. Well, we don't have lockpicks. There's a back window we could open. Okay. I mean, let's. Maybe that. So, contact? I mean, it seems a little strange, but. Hey! Are you. Person we need to meet? No, I didn't, I didn't really think so, but. Oh. Oh, that door opens. Okay, none of the others had highlighted it. I thought they were all. Is that you, Mr. Garrett? Yes. I've been expecting you. I'm supposed to help you gain access to the castle. Above the chest of drawers, you'll find a key that opens a manhole near the city park. The sewers are the only safe way to access the castle. Once you're inside, do not let yourself be seen by anyone. Princess Melanie will be waiting for you in her room. You'll have to prove you can find her room without a map. But I can give you a small tip. Check the king's room first. I can already tell you what she wants. She will ask you to find a special item called the Melody Bracelet. And she also wants you to find out who killed Prince Marcel. However, I prefer she thinks I discover the real murderer. Obviously, I'll reward you for this crime investigation more than Princess Melanie would. You see, I want to be held in high regard by the royal family, to maintain my important position at the court, get enough evidence to prove who the real murderer is, and leave it on the desk here. All right. If I find anything, I'll bring it to you. See you later. Did you write that down? No? Alright, so... 
Go to the king's room first. How am I supposed to know which is the king's room and not Melanie's room without a map, huh? Uh, in the chest of drawers, which you're blocking my access to. Thanks, mate. You said there's a key. Sewer key. That looks like a doorknob. Okay. Um, and you want evidence of the murder. Melanie wants me to get the Melanie Melody bracelet, not Melanie bracelet. And you want, and she'll want proof of the murder, but you want me to bring the evidence here. Maybe you did the murder and you want to dispose of the evidence? I don't know, that's not really a good theory. Okay. Recover your weapons. I mean, wait, where are my weapons? What am I doing? We see again? Like, did the cops still have them or what? First and called first will provide me with further details about my mission and return my equipment. Excuse me, sir, are you supposed to return my equipment? You don't seem to be returning my equipment. I'm not so happy about you choosing not to return my equipment when apparently I, that's you were supposed to. Okay, so let's double check all any of these doors, see if any of them actually do open. No. It's very good. Just, just, I'm just an adult being weird like all adults, you know, just running around, staring at every door to see if it glows. Because sometimes doors glow and that means you can open them. That's, that's a weird fact of life, kid. If the door glows, you can open it. Look, I mean, I can't use this key, right? No. So where, where the hell am I going to get my goods back? <laughs> also, the, the bit about don't let anybody in the castle see you is not. Nobody's here. I don't know where the castle is. I guess. Well, that might be the castle. It's a ca that's a castle. I do like the way the guards in the French Russia Thief are, uh... Tu sais qu'il y a de l'eau dans le gaz entre Pierre et Rémi Pierre est remonté contre Rémi, mais Étienne va jouer les intermédiaires et essayer de résoudre les problèmes. Il faudra qu'il déploie toute sa diplomatie, car les discussions risquent d'être houleuses. On me demande s'il parviendra à faire plier Rémi. Il est assez coriace. Mm. Quand il se braque contre quelqu'un, il n'y a pas moyen de le faire changer d'avis. Les fans of Mark Jazzier. Approchez, dites qui vous êtes. Mm. Nobody. Sûrement des rats. Just the rats. Again. Tu sais qu'il y a de l'eau dans le gaz entre Pierre et Rémi. Quelqu'un ici So that's Ed Castle. Is that castle I need to go to? <coughs> The problem I have is if is wondering about my equipment, right? Sewers. Where did it say the sewers were? I don't know. I mean, it's a canal. It doesn't look like sewers.
Oh, looks like a door. It does not look like a door. Again, unfortunate. Design. You have to stare at every door to find out if it opens or not. Makes it hard to plan where to go. It's just disappointing to see a door that looks openable that isn't. That's the bigger problem. I don't know why this keeps freezing up on me either. Small hitches. Mm, well. Do you force this or get it? Much too much coffee. So I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, I don't know where these sewers are. The guy told me something. He told me a whole lot of things, and I don't remember most of them, of course. Why, well, traditionally, you write them down in like objective notes or. I mean, I can write some of this. I write down what I remember, right? Oh no, we don't have a map, we don't have a notes page, I can't even do that. That's... that's an unfortunate oversight in this mission design. It's like, a lot of attention to detail on the mission, but... I can understand no map, but a notes page would be nice. Even if it isn't traditional for Thief 1, since... Thief 1 didn't have the writing on the map, right? At least according to some. I haven't actually, uh... researched that question, that's what I've... Red, which surprises me because that Ultimate Underworld had writing on the map. And Thief 1 shares a lot of DNA with that. What is the other end of the canal? Well, it's possible the canal will get me to the sewers, so maybe you should just go for a swim. Oh, it's also possible people drop valuables in the bottom of the canal. Wow, I can't, can't really see down here, though. It's pretty dark. I'm surprisingly well lit for it being dark. Okay, now I'm in the ducts. Okay, there's a strong current that counts from against that. Well, okay, if the sewers are accessible from the canal... I need to go from the other end. Right back here at the start, at the front again. Okay, so they know where I am. <clears throat> uh, that carrot turned into a cabbage. That's uh, a surprise. Oh sh shit! Yeah, not a good place to be. I think he's riled up properly. All right. <laughs> yeah, they're both riled up now. Let's leave them. Try and find our way back around. I guess I haven't been down this street, maybe there's sewer access here. Yeah, I was just bringing us back to here again. I guess from a different side. Oh, nice open window up there. Same, I don't have any uh, kind of way to access anything up high. Courtyard. Guard up there. Yeah, there is. Oh, 
past Bathurst this time. Oh, I'll drift back here at the fountain. Okay, well, let's try going downhill, right? Downhill should lead to sewers. Any valuable bars at the door? No, just a star. Hello? Room there. It's a very steep street. Locked, of course. Not doing any good while well, I don't have keys. Okay. Here's some singing. Lots of, uh, wow, there's a lot, tons of coins in this mission. I don't suppose they add up to much, but it's just like, if you were going for 100% loot, you would be, uh, couldn't even see that one. You'd have a lot of work cut out for you. Some kind of cathedral-y churchy place. Let's hope nobody inside is looking out the windows to see me. Oh, it's not locked. Well, that's not the way to the sewers, surely. This looks like a city watch station, I'd say, judging by the banners and... You can take the treasure from the old keeper's shrine, but evil, evil lady, why, oh, why did you take everything God. that was mine? Tu ne veux pas qu'on te donne un coup de main? Tristan et moi, on peut venir samedi te dépanner. Par exemple, pour porter les cartons. C'est vrai? Ah, je dis pas non, ils sont tellement lourds. Les cartons de livres en particulier pèsent des tonnes. Oh, ce serait adorable de votre part, vous êtes toujours prêt à rendre service. Si vous pouviez venir tôt le matin, ça m'arrangerait. Ça tombe bien, on est en vacances tous les deux. Ah, oh, tu me tires une épine du pied. Je me demandais justement comment j'allais y arriver toute seule. Pourquoi ne pas demander à Simon et François de venir te prêter main forte On aura bien besoin de vous. Aline of Dilbeck. Dennis of Chateau. Boniface of Bruchellus. He does have a fairly bony face, doesn't he, Mr. Boniface? Valuable. Wow, okay. I mean, I guess 
Fair enough, people would probably just nick it. People, I mean me. Well, it's definitely like nice beams up there to walk on, but I don't see anything else to do on there, so. I'd forgotten that he uh, also sings uh, quits Gilbert and Sullivan. I thought I heard that guy snoring, but no, it must be somebody else. Well, I haven't found the sewers, I haven't found my gear. I have found... I went up to purse, that's, that's alright. How are we doing? Hit a thousand already, so there must be valuable stuff to find. This guy's very bored, but it's not going to help me. So where are the sewers? Is that door open? I don't know. It's the problem with this. That's not unique to this mission. Window would open. Okay. Hmm, where am I going to turn? Wait for him to turn around. here because he turns around right there. Definitely a frustrating start for a mission to have a big area to explore and no means to do it because I don't have ropes, I don't have lockpicks, it's like, I mean I don't have any direction on where to go. Kill your weapons, yes, from somewhere. Again, Diary said that guy was going to keep, return my equipment to me, and he didn't. I don't know. Let's try going up this way. Maybe the sewers is down the end here. We haven't been down the end here. It's long past the castle, after all. Are they coming towards me or away? They're going away. and then duck into that yard and hope that yard is relatively safe, I think. some singing lessons. Go across your eye there. Oh, whatever, it's okay. 
I will say one thing for this country, that, uh... Aha, that looks like sewers, all oh, right. Wow, people leave their personal belongings everywhere. The workers will grow in the fountains, as do the coins. Look at all these coins. It is a rich town. I guess maybe 14,000 loot is. I don't know, to me 14,000 seems a ridiculously large an amount, but as a loot goal. Just by reference to the original missions and the whole 100,000 being kind of retirement level money for Garrett. What have we got here? Someone left a book? I'd sing of love in such a novel fashion that from her cruel side I would draw by force a thousand sighs a day, kindling again in her cold mind a thousand high desires. I'd see her lovely face transform quite often, her eyes grow wet and more compassionate, like one who feels regret when it's too late for causing someone suffering by mistake. And I'd see scarlet roses in the snows, tossed by the breeze, discover ivory that turns to marble those who see it near them. All this I'd do, because I do not mind my discontentment in this one short life, but glory rather in my later fame. Whoops. That was not meant to be a crouch, not a jump, I'm not quite sure what I pressed. But it was definitely not the right button, hello. Right, well, ropes will get us back out of those. We, you know, we've got little beams there, but we don't have ropes. I'm going to try dropping onto one of those trees. Just break the fall a little. I do hope this doesn't get like completely muted by YouTube or anything, that would really be annoying. Well, there's our. Uh... Oh no, that's not sewer entrance, that's a table. Oh dear, am I stuck here then? I thought there was a manhole. I looked from above, it was round, I was looking for a manhole. This is not a manhole cover. All well and good, but how do I get back out of here again? <sighs> and on the pipe. Okay, I can't stand on that. I can't stand on this. I guess I can climb up the trees. Nothing else for me here. There's these little beams, but... <laughs> what, what the hell? Oh, there must, be, there must have been loot there that I... Because I just bumped the right mouse button by mistake. I was not actually meaning to prob. Whoops. Oh, well. What was it? A gem. Apparently worth quite a lot. Alright. So get out. We need to... Climb trees. Stand on the pointy end. Can't zoom, but I guess if I looked from over here, I might have seen that gem. I was I was thinking of like, was there an, op an openable uh, uh, shutter? I think that's why I had my finger on the prob key, but wasn't expecting to find loot. Well, I guess I could also get to it this way. Not beyond the realm of possibility, I might be able to drop onto the beam without my ropes. I don't know, but whatever. I'm not bothered overly by an accidental find, I'm bothered by the lack of accidental find of sewers. Oh, there's another window there. Nothing 
nothing here at all. There's never anything here. Oh. Loot! Unless... Oh, hello. Take those. Alright, here we are. Here we are. Is there a ladder? There it is, okay. This was the way to the sewers after all. Alright. to the castle? Mm. I guess. It was a boy. <sighs> I guess it does. Uh, he does turn around, okay. I thought it'd be weird if he was staring at the wall the whole time, but... Uh... Wait for him to stare at the wall again, and then we'll run out and get some shadow. Mm. That sewer hatch just disappeared. No, it's there. Okay. Turn to your left, man. Look at the door. Mm. It's a very interesting door. This person might be able to make it out while he's facing that way, but. Or turn to your right, that works as well for me. Mm. I know, it's a boring job being a guard, but... That's why it's your job, not mine. <laughs> oh, now he turns around, okay. Mm. I thought he was going to turn back this way any second. Another key or anything? He does have access to the castle gate, so that will let us out again, I guess. No, that'll half let us out. It was a poor colour, yeah. Okay. I want to go up that way before I go up this way. I mean, I don't know which one is right, is more needed. Nothing here. More coins. Here it is. Well, there's a lot of people in the courtyard there. Lucky they don't. I like this. I like this uh, stone arches here. Nice beam work too. All right, this does bring me higher. Higher up in the castle. So, what about the other door? Well, the other stairway. Maybe it doesn't actually go anywhere. Maybe this is the one I need to go through. Let's check it out. I'm in here, can't see what this guy's doing. That's a sword. We 
which he was right handed, so. Okay. Maybe this is the one that doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. Oh no, it does go somewhere. Right, well maybe both of these give us access to upper levels. Not a door. Not a door. What the hell is that footsteps I'm hearing? Sounds like it's right in front of me. Does not sound like it's coming down these stairs. That's that's a good news. That's sort of one big room brush here, isn't it? Um, that's I'm hearing people out there, I guess. Try going further up. Thing is, we don't have a map of the place. And if we're gonna find the king's room, surely that's upstairs somewhere, right? Just hearing doors everywhere. Oh, well, that's that one out there, okay. Basically, all sound like they're, like they're right next to me. Okay, this seems to be the top floor we can get to right now. It's nothing. Ugh. All the noise coming from outside, I can't even hear what people are doing here. So they get back out the same way or what? There. <coughs> okay, we're coming right back again. <coughs> Look at their sword. <coughs> Looks like it's got teeth. <coughs> <coughs> What's this woman's voice I'm hearing so loudly? I don't know, sound propagation is very frustrating in this mission. It's just sounds. Everything sounds like it's coming from everywhere. Take those. And these patrols will go through a door and immediately turn around and come back. So is there anyone else in this area? Nothing. Alright, and this is just the other stairway that we would have come up, I guess. This is somebody's bedroom. What a pity, now that I had finished preparing a party for this week in my castle, I was informed that a new king of Germany wants to see me. I have to show him the map of Brugellus given to me by his predecessor. The map defines the border between our countries, and the special declaration written by the ancient king of Germany. 
said King granted us part of German territory no more than 100 kilometers, because we had helped them expel Romans from their homeland. I will have to arrange a large escort to accompany me on this diplomatic visit. I don't know this new king and whether he plans to make any major changes to his foreign policy. I pray that our relations will remain friendly. It is not worth cancelling the party for this week because many of my guests have taken a long trip and they are already arriving in Bruxelles. However, I will organise another party when I return from Germany. I hope that this occasion can cheer up my daughter a bit. Since Prince Marcel died, she has been feeling severely depressed. I don't like to see my girl in that condition, and my wife is also sad about it. Pray to God that Melanie recovers from her grief as soon as possible. If I was not summoned by that new German king, I would also have time to finish my first quadruple fermented beer with an alcohol by volume between 10% and 12%. I guess I have to put that off for later. So I guess we stumbled on the king's room after all. A few weeks have passed since Prince Marcel was murdered. I cannot help but think about the day I discovered him dead in his chambers. Near the entrance, two guards were lying unconscious, with the remnants of wine spilled on the floor. Traces of Romamazepam were found in the beverage they drank last night. Wine from the poison barrel was served to many people that night, many of whom passed out. As I was the first to find Marcel's body, I decided that I would investigate the cause of his death. The first evidence is a metal ring I glimpsed on the floor next to his body. It contains an engraving from a mother's love to her son. It's such a pity that neither mother nor son was named on the ring. However, there is yet another piece of evidence. The prince used to always wear a scarf gifted to him by my daughter Melanie. The scarf was missing from the crime scene. Thus, Marcel's neck was exposed, and I could identify a large cut wound inflicted certainly by a sharp dagger. Traces of blood were found under Marcel's fingernails, and he also clutched a few strands of brown hair. This suggests that the prince must have been attacked from behind. He had struggled against the assailant, trying to grab his face before he was eventually murdered. I have already ordered to search the entire castle, but unfortunately neither Melanie's scarf nor the assassin's dagger were found. My daughter is severely depressed and she has lost all her taste for life. I have always held Marcel in high regard, as if he were my son. I can no longer allow this kind of tragedy to happen again in the castle. I will not rest until I find out who killed Prince Marcel. Alright, so I guess we're looking for a scarf and a dagger. Oh! Master right wing castle key. Okay, that could be useful. Ah, oh, we can we can throw the candles when we're right up close to them. Okay, that's nice. That will make me feel better about the amounts of light in this in this place. <sighs> Anything on top of the bed? No, but it's nice and fancy. Anything on top of your bookcases? I can't even see. Can I light it again? No, I can only put it out. That's fair. <laughs> and a bathroom. With three doors into it? Maybe he likes to have guests, you know, friends visit in the bathroom. Let's get straight into the hallway. Okay. And a private office. Let's have some light in there. Some nice bread. Nice goblets. And Beer. <laughs> Just played um, the Sword of the Stones, which used this kind of mirror for teleporting. So I saw that and it's like, oh, it's just another secret uh, teleport tunnel. I guess this is the Queen's boudoir. Any of these vents open? Doesn't look like it. I wonder if there might be any... I mean, it's... I was gonna say, the director's on the wall. Maybe, maybe that's just there to remind me the king. This is like the king's... Uh, office. And he's just hung it there to remind him of his wife. I don't know. Is his, is his wife dead? Wasn't sure from reading that. Hello? Do we have down here? I don't know, but I guess we're going to find out next episode. So I'll see you then.